The Square developer platform provides you with a whole host of APIs that enable you to build apps for the millions of sellers that use Square to power their business. In this video, we're going to introduce you to some of the key concepts and key APIs that will help you understand how the developer platform works. As a Square developer, your app is going to perform operations on behalf of a Square seller. These operations can be anything from accepting payments to managing inventory and everything in between. But the bottom line is your app needs to connect to a seller account. So when you create your Square developer account, you also get a Square seller account created for you automatically, which you can use to build your application on top of. You can choose to build a custom app for yourself as an individual seller, or you can build an app intended to be used by many sellers, like the apps that are in the Square app marketplace. In either case, your app is going to need a way to connect to a seller's Square account. In order for a Square seller to connect to your app, you'll need to obtain an access token. If you're building a bespoke app yourself, you'll already have direct access to that token in your developer dashboard. If you're building an app intended to be used by multiple sellers, each seller can connect to your app via an OAuth flow. This is where the seller will authorize your app to manage resources on their behalf by providing your app with specific permissions that you request. For more on the OAuth process, we have a video linked below. Now that your app is connected to a Square seller, you can start making API calls. There are a lot of Square APIs, and many of them are interconnected, so today I'm going to introduce you to some of the more foundational APIs and highlight the relationships that they share with each other. First things first, when using Square's APIs, each seller that connects to your account is represented by what we call a merchant. So you can use the merchant's API to retrieve all kinds of data about the merchant, such as the business name, country, language preferences, etc. Now, each merchant will also have customers, and you can use the customer's API to manage customer data, analyze customer behavior, build customer engagement tools, and a whole lot more. These are the kinds of resources on a seller's account that can help you start to build really interesting apps. In addition to customers, each merchant will also have locations. Locations can be used to represent a physical storefront, an online store, or anywhere else a seller may do business. By default, every merchant will have at least one location, and that'll be known as the main location. This concept of locations is important because things like orders and payments are scoped to a specific location, not the merchant. Another aspect of a seller's account is their catalog. The catalog is where sellers store and organize all of the products that they offer. You can use the catalog API to manage all kinds of aspects of a seller's catalog, including the ability to indicate if a catalog item is available in specific locations. When a customer comes along and purchases an item in the catalog, an order will be created. Now, like we mentioned before, each order is mapped to a specific location. If you wanna build an app that has anything to do with the life cycle of a purchase, the orders API is what you'll wanna use. Of course, we are only scratching the surface here. The Square Developer Platform offers so many APIs to help you build apps for any kind of business. Hopefully from this video, you're starting to see how all of our APIs work together to help you build really powerful applications. The best way to improve your understanding of these APIs is to just start playing with them. And the API Explorer is a great way to do that. All you need to do is provide an access token and then you'll have the ability to make requests to all the Square APIs to see exactly how they work. We have so many resources for you to learn from, including our docs, sample apps, and more videos just like this. So be sure to check those out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.